tell you something here. Every senior pastor you work for, it is not a right, it's a privilege. Because the pain and the price senior pastors will create, will, will, will pay to create a platform called church for you to have the privilege and the honor to exercise your ministry so that you can get a crown. It's amazing. And at one point, at one point, we pay so much price that we begin to lose a certain, you see, once, sometimes God takes some things, and you get to a place where God feels that this is no longer your duty. So I'm depriving you of the ability to do it. I'm giving you to a son to do it for you. It's at that time, that son, that son feels that if I can do this and you cannot do it, then you are no longer the man I should submit to. You, you understand? Then you are no longer the man I should submit to. You have to be careful the way you deal with the people God has placed over you. You have to be a creator. At some point in your ministry, eh, you are only a creator. You are there to make sure your senior pastor succeeds. You are there to make sure. I used to work for people and I used to prepare sermons for them. Senior pastor will come and say, um, Pastor Gideon, I want to teach on the spiritual gifts. You just left Bible school. Can you develop something for me? I will develop, go and sit down with the person, show the person how to go about it, how to do this, how to do that, how to do this, how to do this, how to do this. And then the person comes with me. But I enjoyed it because I was a creator. Now, the next person I run, every senior pastor, are the chasers. The chasers. Some, there, there are some men of God there. God, you just love them. And you just chase them. You chase after them. You run after them. There are people like that. So they are chasers. There are people who just come into your church. Who just love you. And they just want to. Whatever assignment you have for me. I want to do it. At some time in your life. Eh, you are only a chaser. You don't have any creative things to offer, but you want to serve. You want to arrange chairs. You want to arrange tables. You want to pray. You want to just be a prayer warrior. You want to just do something. A man of God, I'm not here for any. I, I am just a chaser. At one point, Pastor Apostle Coach, I was just a chaser. Everywhere I went, you follow me. You just make sure I'm comfortable. He used to be the head of my protocol. When I'm traveling, they come together and buy my ticket. Even recently, recently I was in France. That which hotel are you going to sleep? Don't choose any old small hotel. Oh. So me too, I chose. 600 euros a month. You called a friend of his. My daddy is in your city. Go and pay for him. I'll pay you later. Now, the reason why God has rewarded me one of our fastest growing branches. He has two branches under him, and he's doing what? At least this year, start another branch. You understand? All of you. You see, you need, I'm telling you, at some point in your life, you are only a chaser. Just a chaser. Just, just a chaser. You have to understand that I am just following you. Wherever this man goes, I am there. I'm going to his church. I'm doing something for him. I'm arranging chairs. I'm praying for him. I am waiting upon the Lord for him. I'm doing evangelism for him. I'm doing something for him. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. What you understand? You come around a man of God and you think that you are complaining here and there. And you are not doing anything. You have made your stomach like a bass drum. And everything you are complaining. So they are what? Creators? What? Chasers.